of the states also so keep uh, sunish in your prayers also wonderful so this morning as we are come here there is a beautiful verse in the bible matthew 5 the sermon on the mount we call it sermon on the mount by the way worship team it was a good good job okay the entire team was here on the first sunday okay good put your hands together and uh, give it they were doing a good job okay the violin was missing okay <laughs> okay and the uh, 513 in that sermon on the mount jesus said something you are the salt salt remember you are not a local salt have you seen where you they make this salt uppalam anyone has seen that malayali is not much you have seen okay my mother comes from thootukudi so that's a famous place for <laughs> salt okay that's where all the salt comes actually okay so you are the salt of the entire earth that means no exemption everywhere you have to be there and then the problem when god has placed you as salt and when the lord wants you to be the salt the sad thing is you have lost your saltiness malayalam it says uppine kaaram illada poyal how can it be made salty again i don't think there is a process i don't think there is a process it is no longer good for anything good for nothing ennu parayathille useless ennu parayathille that's exactly except to be thrown out and trampled my men inna deiva sabayaka troll iya social media le they are making fun of the church they are making fun of pastors they are making fun of all spiritual activities even speaking in tongues and such things okay they are making fun the world is early it was not like the rest yesterday one brother came and talked to me for a long time he said earlier usually the social media or the media or no, nobody will dare to just make fun of so called the spiritual things especially the christian things nowadays it has become a even little children they they do mimicry when connect, connected to this words it's very true it's true nelathittu janam chauttu va nammale why why the word is true okay the word has not changed god has not changed his spirit has not changed but we have lost something and what is that our saltiness we have lost we have lost our saltiness sometimes we say we lost our power okay that may be right but jesus makes it very simple saltiness again he comes to say you are the light of the world the next verse he says you are the light of the world salt of the earth and you are the light of the world a city on a hill cannot be hidden a city on a hill cannot be hidden from anywhere you can see because it's on the top it's on the mountain top so you cannot be hidden you cannot hide a church cannot hide why i am saying this did you read your newspaper today morning oh sunday morning you're not supposed to read your paper okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i withdraw that question yesterday night 10 o'clock news did you watch the 10 o'clock news or oh, tv no pastor we don't watch news only we watch only movies serials and comedy shows <laughs> earlier there was a time that believers used to say we have a doordarshan and we only we are kept it for the news not on a sunday afternoon movie <laughs> with apology believers used to buy tvs once upon a time <laughs> now every believer has netflix amazon what all other things everything they have what i'm trying to tell you even in this state of kerala in the past one week okay forget two weeks how many murders how many suicides happened do you know two days back in trivandrum in peta a young man was killed husband killed the wife wife killed the husband the children killed the father 
a father mother and the children committed suicide even yesterday day before yesterday the past one week more than a dozen people committed suicide in kerala alone is it because of the ldf government is it something to be blamed the police department or no the the people around us the community around us is decaying deteriorating malayalathil parayum chinna aluga ചീയാതിരിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ അഴുകാതിരിക്കണമെങ്കിൽ അവിടെയാണ് ഉപ്പ് ഇടേണ്ടത് ദിറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു യു ഇസ് വെൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് അറൌണ്ട് ദസ് ഇൻ ദ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി വേ വി ലിവ് വെൻ പീപ്പിൾ ആർ ഡൈങ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ കില്ലിങ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ കമ്മിറ്റിംഗ് സൂയിസൈഡ് വാട്ട് ആർ വി ഡൂയിങ് ആസ് എ ചേർച്ച് ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ചാലഞ്ച് യു മൈ ബ്രദർ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ചാലഞ്ച് യു a church is the church only for a sunday morning fellowship i always use a word sunday church no, church is not a sunday club for many church is only a club a club where the members meet but the church of god is not a club just for its members the bible is very clear we are the light and we are the salt and a man of god once said the church is the only enterprise in the world which gives its benefit talks to its non members the church is kept in this world not for the benefit of its so called registered members no the church is kept in this world to give the benefits to its non members who are the non members of the church they are the ones at to get saved i call them pre believers not free believers pre <laughs> they are not ed believers but we believe that one day they will become believer how many believe that maybe in your family lot of people have not known the lord don't call them unbelievers by faith call them pre believers <laughs> you are a believer by the grace of god and your family member maybe your immediate family they are yet to know the lord but how will they know the lord only when you become the salt and the light in your family in your environment okay wherever you are maybe in your place of work in your neighborhood you should be the salt and you should be the light that's the only way they will see jesus okay otherwise they will only see jesus in the jesus movie <laughs> if they want to see the real jesus they can only see in and through your life so our question this first sunday do i portray jesus when people talk to me do they feel wow this man is different this woman is different when i talk to him or her i feel something happening inside i feel a peace inside i feel a joy inside sometimes okay if if a sinner comes to you and talks to you for some time they should feel very restless they should feel very restless once a man of god was traveling in a train this happened in india and uh, it was a third class compartment at that time at that time indian railways had a third class also this man of god was a humble man of god he was, uh, was traveling in a train the train was packed and a lot of people were smoking there some were playing cards and some were really uh, all kinds of dirty things were happening and this man of god was sitting in a corner it is so crowded this man just was uh, he had a cloth bag and uh, took a bible out of it and in a corner he was sitting and reading his bible quietly do you know what happened in that coupe people were smoking people were playing cards and th- the moment he started reading the bible and he was in his own world but do you know what happened the people along with him in that compartment they couldn't play cards cheetam kottu varunnilla edu sirattu kattichittu valikkan pattunnilla they were wondering what's happening nammal full singi kalichondirunne suddenly kalikkan pattunnilla idu mette chavachondirunna party ki murkan pattunnilla ippo 
ഉറക്ക വർത്താനം പറഞ്ഞ് തെറി പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് വാക്ക് വായിൽ ശബ്ദം വരുന്നില്ല ദേവ വണ്ടറിങ് വാട്ട്സ് ഹാപ്പണി വാട്ട്സ് ഹാപ്പണി സഡൻലി ദേവ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് ഈച്ചത് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ എടാ ചീട്ടറക്ക് ചീട്ടറക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ഡു നോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഫൈനലി ദേവ ലുക്കിംഗ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ദേ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ടു അസ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ എവറിബഡി അതാ ഞാൻ നോക്കുന്നത് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻ ഫൈനലി ദേ ഫൗണ്ട് ദ റീസൺ വൺ ഓൾ മാൻ ഇസ് സിറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ എ കോണർ റീഡിങ് സംതിങ് ദേ വെൻറ്റ് ഫൈനലി ദ സ്റ്റോറി എൻസ് ലൈക് ദിസ് ദേ വെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് നെൽറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ഹിം and asked him sir sir are you jesus are you jesus we have heard about the jesus the christians jesus are you that jesus then he looked at him no i'm not jesus but i know jesus he said do you know jesus yes tell us that about the jesus he just in four sentences he said about jesus and they all knelt and said can we have this jesus sure and do you know what happened he led them in the sinner's prayer and then he even before reaching the next station he taught them a chorus chorus do you know what was that chorus he taught it in hindi i don't know the hindi version of it but i know the english version of it alla malayalam version ariya endha ariyamo yesuven ullathil vanna naalil Ah. and do you know when the train stopped at the next station they didn't er e bongi muluven everybody was clapping and singing with joy this song what is the song eshu ennullathil vanna naalil endu maatam endu modam vannu ennil wow did he distribute tracts did he took a megaphone and preached the gospel there did he share with the fellow passenger the gospel no that man of god was only the salt he was the light are you challenged by that man's story remember this didn't happen in europe this happened in india if this happened in the last century can that happen again in this century can that happen even today i want to challenge you my brothers my sisters i want to challenge you let us become the light let us become the salt so that the world around us the community decay deterioration damage distress disease okay now the next variant has come am i right so more and more will come but my question is what is the church doing we need to become the salt we need to become the salt so coming back when we read about all the suicide and murders and even the accidents yesterday alone in kerala five road accidents five death in road accidents so when you read and hear about all these things what is the first thing with, which comes to your heart i am sure even when you hear a news it is an information or it is a communication how you take it how you process it here makes the difference turn with me to the book of nehemiah chapter 1 nehemiah chapter 1 read the story the nehemiah was a today's context he was a government officer he was working in the palace with the king and he had access to the king he was a cup bearer it seems so he has close access to the king he was very influential in a way this man is very well settled in a foreign country but one day when someone came from his own homeland he casually asked him hey what's happening gulf in the north in varunna varu endu vekkum nattil endu undu mazha undo ഇപ്പോഴും മുഖ്യമന്ത്രി പിണറായി ആണോ എന്നൊക്കെ ചോദിക്കും അല്ലേ ചുമ്മാ വിശേഷം ചോദിച്ച കൂട്ടത്തിൽ ഹി ഗോട്ട് ദി ന്യൂസ് എന്താണ് തിങ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഗോയിങ് വെൽ തേർഡ് വേൾഡ്സ് തിങ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് ഗോയിങ് വെൽ ഫോർ ദോസ് ഹു റിട്ടേൺ ടു ദ പ്രോവിൻസ് ഓഫ് ജൂഡ ദേ ആർ ഇൻ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ട്രാവൽ ആൻഡ് ഡിസ്ക്രേജ് ദ വോൾ ഓഫ് ജെറൂസലം ഹാഡ് ബീൻ ടോൺ ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് ദ ഗേറ്റ്സ് ഹാവ് ബീൻ ഡിസ്ട്രോയ്ഡ് ബൈ ഫയർ 
things are not good the walls are broken down and gates have been burned it's great trouble and disgrace valiya ninnayum avamanam okkeya so when he heard this okay the fourth words what was his response that's what i want to tell this morning what was his response he responded when i heard this i sat down and wept നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റും പലതും നടക്കുമ്പം നമ്മൾ കുത്തിയിരുന്ന് കരയാറുണ്ടോ പക്ഷെ പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആ അങ്ങനെ വേണം വോട്ട് കൊടുത്ത് വീണ്ടും സർക്കാരിനെ കയറ്റിയപ്പോൾ ഓർക്കണമായിരുന്നു ഹൗ ഈസിലി വി ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ദ ബ്ലെയിം നോ ഹി സാറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് വെപ്റ്റ് ഇൻഫാക്ട് ഫോർ ഡേയ്സ് ഐ മൂൺ വൈ ഡി ഡി മൂൺ വല്ലരും ചത്തോ ഇയാളെ വല്ലരും ചത്തോ why is he crying he is safe in a foreign land he is in a very high position he is very comfortable why is he crying when we hear about all these news of murder suicide even young girls and boys been molested and uh, abused and uh, and about that okay look at the amount of drugs that they are seizing almost every day crores and crores worth of drugs in today's no last week i was in cochin for some time for two three days i was talking to some people there they were talking about the situation in cochi was very scary they, one family told me we are scared to live here with my teenage girls we wish we move from here Kochi is not a safer place. Do you think Trivandrum is a safer place? No. Do you think only this is the problem of the city? No. Everywhere. Drugs are there everywhere. So my question is, when you read all these news, okay, do you sit and weep? Do you moan? And then he started fasting. Fasting for what? And prayed to the God of heaven. Finally, he prayed so every everything that is troubling you here every distress here every sadness you go through finally you bring it to the lord in prayer what a peace we often forfeit what needless pain we bear all because there's only one reason because we do not carry everything to god in prayer so nehemiah did the right thing he carried everything to god in prayer lord i came to know that my people there at home are in a very disgraceful sad situation the walls are broken it seems so if the walls are broken that means you are giving access to the enemy today our walls are broken the walls of the church itself is broken the walls of our families are broken the walls of our community are broken even the walls of our nation sorry to say you sir bs of you are here but even <laughs> the walls of our nation are broken any time the enemy can encroach and come am i right am i right when the walls are broken a child of god you need to really take it serious and sit and cry and weep and fast and pray and because he fasted and prayed and sought the lord is interesting second chapter 11 and 12 second chapter 11 and 12 so what he did was not only he prayed sometimes we are very smart okay we sit and pray and stop that's all <laughs> and we have done our duty okay we sit and nan nan you nan nan adu vaichu arnu ay enikku adu bhayangara bharavai nan irundu prarthichu nan endru nan adu velliyaalchi kuda irundhe nan angu uvasichu pinne nan idu prarthichu devathodu prarthichu enikku oru valiya samadhanam kitti nan pinne angu vittu idha nammada prashnam he arrived in jerusalem why did he arrive in jerusalem he says later idana when you really have the burden and pray 
the lord will move you into action many people we believers are very smart we pray and stop we never get go to the next level he took leave he applied for leave <laughs> went to the king and uh, gave the leave application immediately it was sanctioned and not only the leave was sanctioned lot of other things were sanctioned he wanted some papers <laughs> he wanted some materials like uh, timber everything so he could cross the borders and easily he could come and he arrived in jerusalem it is a long journey sometimes you may have to pay the price when god puts a burden in you you have to pay the price i know people when uh, they are in good job they are in good situation here in kerala they just took a mission trip somewhere they went to a state or went to a certain village or somewhere and when they stayed there for two three days and uh, saw everything and came back the lord put a burden do you know some people what do they do they come home resign their jobs and say and they go back to that same place and settle there i have seen lot of pastors doing that lot of pastors have done that in the past if you go to north india or even to the northeast even to nepal you go and see if you see an ancient church today a believers church there you will find the pastor is from kerala or tamil nadu and don't think that uh, they just went to that place and started a ministry no the lord put a burden about that place and uh, that man had a good job here his family was well settled back in kerala but he resigned everything and went i know people in the gulf okay on fine morning they resign and come i know even people from us recently are coming they are resigning their job and they taking the family back one family came with the little children here i said how no 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 i i i took my little children while they are young they will come if we late later they will not come so we decided to wind up and come back and the way they were living here in kerala i felt so sad the children were really struggling because they were born in us and they would never would have come if it was some other time so remember when the missionaries came to india most of them even didn't bring their families do you know that is it right or wrong i don't know but they came even leaving the families back at that time no proper transportation no european european closet <laughs> not even a <laughs> but they came because of their obedience we are christians here do you believe that do you believe that we are christians here not because saint thomas came sorry to say we are here because of some missionary came some missionary came and that's why we are here and that missionary had everything back home he left everything and came here Jesus had everything in heaven he left and came here today my question is in this city we may have everything but when we see people are in distress around us when you pray when you seek the lord the lord will put a burden so that you start acting so he arrived in jerusalem and then 3 days later what did he do the next word says he slipped out during the night taking only few others with me very one or two confidentially he took some people and went i had not told anyone about the plans god had put in my heart for jerusalem wow that is the point i want to highlight here while he prayed while he sought the lord the lord put some plans in his heart if it is your own bible you can underline the word plans when you pray the lord will put some plans and who put that plans god put that plans where in the heart 
so when god put his plans in your heart we took no pack animals with us except the donkey i was riding <laughs> then we know the story i don't want to get into that story finally he started the work but when he started the work there was a lot of opposition but thank god by 52 days the work was finished the walls were built and he went back praising god so what i'm trying to tell you is okay when you see destruction damage distress deterioration decay everything around you what do you do when people around you are dying when people around you are killing each other when people around you are taking up their lives my question to you is does it affect you in any way does it affect you in any way if it doesn't affect you in any way you have to doubt your salvation if jesus is living here what would jesus do if he had seen all these things do you know when he was in jerusalem there's a verse in the bible say he wept and then what did he say hey jerusalem jerusalem today when you see trivandrum will you weep oh trivandrum oh trivandrum god loves you and god wants to save you god wants to bless you how come you are not knowing jesus how come you are not not knowing the way to your salvation how come i wish that you knew the lord did you get the point did you get the point i know when i say all these things okay god is stirring up the hearts of some people not only the people who sit in front of me physically even in online lot of people are getting stirred up i know i'm getting very good reports from all over other places many people call and say brother what you said is true we are praying i'm so touched by people praying from other parts of the world for our city here last month the team from south africa were planning to come and visit trivandrum why because while they were praying the lord told them and gave the name of the city tiruvananthapuram they didn't even know it was the name of a city they googled it and find it's a place in india they booked their tickets and they were all planning to arrive here last month but because of this new variant they canceled it and god willing they will come any time when they are able to come this year so like that god is stirring up many hearts in many places my question is okay when god is stirring up hearts somewhere what's happening here in our hearts i heard about doctors okay especially surgeons they see blood ee chore kandu kandu pinne enikku onnum thonathilla nu parichittundo le you are in trivandrum medical college right have you worked in the casualty what about accidents chore kandittundo ishtam pole chore kandu avasanam madukku chore madukku le doctors ne madukku because you are they are seeing it every day but end chodyam ee idella nammal vaikkeyum kekkeyum cheyumbo what is our attitude ഇത്രയും ചീഞ്ഞഴുകണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഉപ്പുണ്ടായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൺ ടു ദ സോൾട്ട് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൺ ടു ദ സോൾട്ടിനസ് ഓക്കെ ദീസ് ഡേയ്സ് ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ചലഞ്ച് യു ബ്രദേഴ്സ് ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ചലഞ്ച് യു മൈ സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ഈവൻ വൈൽ യു ആർ സ്ലീപ്പിംഗ് ദ ലോഡ് വിൽ ബി ടോക്കിംഗ് ടു യു ബട്ട് ബി സെൻസിറ്റീവ് ടു വാട്ട് ഈസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് ബി സെൻസിറ്റീവ് ടു വാട്ട് ദ ലോഡ് maybe a still small voice will come to you not in a thunderstorm no he may be speaking something to you maybe he is putting a burden god is putting a burden in some of you psalm 16 verse 7 and 8 psalm 16 verse 7 and 8 says malalam it says രാത്രികാലങ്ങളിലും എൻ്റെ അന്നരങ്ങ് എന്നെ ഉപദേശിക്കുന്നു 
even at night my heart instructs me at night god is dealing with you if you keep the lord in front of you all the time yan yehova ende munbil vechu kondirnal if he is in my right hand i will not be moved adu mathram namukare we know that words but at night times the lord is dealing with us he is speaking to our spirits okay so again psalm 32 psalm 32 the 8th and 9th words psalm 32 8 and 9th the lord says i will guide you along the best pathway for your life i will guide you don't walk for yourselves okay neeger chumma ang nadakkerudu i will guide you i will guide you ashas can you please go out and see i will advise you and watch over you i will advise and watch over you ramamba are we going on our own are we just having our own plans or are we doing everything under the guidance of god in 2022 i want all of us to take a decision lord let me be guided by you let me be guided by you even let my children be guided by you lord let not anyone guide me only let your spirit guide me can you say a prayer like that even many times as a church who is guiding us the lord should guide us as a church the lord should guide us his holy spirit should guide us okay even the leaders of the church the elders or the pastors or whoever they should be guided by the holy spirit so that they will guide the church but many times we are being guided by the what do you call the wisdom of man no these days my only prayer is lord guide us by your counsel guide us by your counsel how many of you families you will pray a prayer lord guide our family even when your children are studying and they want to take the next course or any direction who guides them is the career counselor hmm. or maybe is it you because you think that uh, you are the best counselor available for your child no the best counselor is the holy spirit who should guide them is god himself so as parents you seek the counsel of god for your children and then guide them i am telling this very seriously even when a marriage proposal comes it's not something else should guide you especially when you're looking for a girl for your son what guides you first of all your son should like the girl <laughs> so what guides him she should smart she should look oh then 110 expectations are around how the girl should look like <laughs> then comes qualification career profession pinna comes the family okay status then comes then comes and kuda po endana chikli pinneyo nadu kudathi a tamil nadu mathram alla jaadi tamil nadu that's worse sorry any tamilians hearing me don't come to fight with me <laughs> that's a reality even kerala do you think is not there when it comes to jaadi that's all ethical but all no issue all jaadi comes i'm sorry to address this issue because i as a pastor sometimes feel very bad awkward nammal or proposal on last time adhe i don't have a problem even my son don't have a problem but my family you know we come from the pagalomattam family so ningala great grandfather saint thomas ayirne pulli ki deshim verum adond this is the problem okay so who is guiding you in that marriage definitely it's not god it's not the holy spirit it's not even the word of god then who is guiding you it's you it's your ego it's your pride who you are and you not only expect 
i deserve a good girl and a good family and some good money you deserve because let none of these things guide you let none of these guide you and uh, psalm 32 9 if you are not guided by god there is a problem he says do not be like a senseless horse do you know horse horse is a senseless animal buddhi illatha kudira kudira bhayangara hero aanu namukku pashe kudire ku etta prashnam undu endha ariya buddhi illa adine control cheyana oral guide cheyana and or the mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control like bit and bridle കടിഞ്ഞാണം അല്ലെ മോഹപ്പെട്ട എന്തോ അതൊക്കെ ഇട്ടാണ് അതിനെ നമ്മൾ കൺട്രോൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചോട്ടെ നമുക്കും അതൊക്കെ ഇടേണ്ട ആവശ്യം കേട്ടോ ഷുഡ് ഗോഡ് പുട്ട് എ ബിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ബിഡിൽ ഹവൻ യു വി ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് നമ്മൾ ഫ്രീ ആയിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെയിരിക്കും എന്ത് രസമാണ് ഈ ബുക്കിൽ കൂടെ ട്യൂബ് ഇട്ടാൽ ഇങ്ങനെയിരിക്കും ഇറ്റ് ബി വെരി ഇൻകൺവീനിയൻറ്റ് പക്ഷേ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ഹോൾസ് എത്ര ചമഞ്ഞ ഒരുങ്ങിയ ഒരു ഒരു സൂപ്പർ ചാരിറ്റി കിട്ടുന്ന ഒരു ഹോഴ്സ് ആണെങ്കിലും അതിൻ്റെ വായിൽ കൂടെ സാധനം ഇങ്ങനെ കെട്ടി കെട്ടി പിടിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിൻ്റെ മൂക്കി കൂടെ ഇടും അല്ലെ അതിനിങ്ങനെ ഒരു പിടി പിടിക്കുമ്പം അത് നിൽക്കും സോ ഡു യു തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് എൻജോയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് നോ പക്ഷേ സോറി അങ്ങനെ ഒരു പിടുത്തം ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇതിനെ പിടിച്ചാൽ നിൽക്കത്തില്ല മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു യു ആൻഡ് മീ ഡു എക്സ്പെക്ട് ഡോട്ട് ടു ഡു ദിസ് ടു യു ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ഒബേ ദ ലോഡ് ആൻഡ് ടേക്ക് ഹിസ് കൗൺസിൽ that's not needed but if you are not obeying his counsel sometimes in his love he has to put a ichelapo onu kolathi onu valikendi veru sometimes certain things may not go the way that we want apadhi namu karichilum bolum frustration deshum devathoda deshum pinne charchi varathilla njan chelapo chindikkaru di aalkarki അവർ വിചാരിച്ച കാര്യം നടക്കാതെ വരുമ്പോൾ ദേഷ്യം വരുമ്പോൾ അവർ ആദ്യം ക്വിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്താണെന്നറിയാം ആദ്യം ക്വിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ചർച്ചിൻ്റെ വാട്സാപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഇഫ് സം വൺ ലീവ് ദ വാട്സാപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ ചർച്ച് ദാറ്റ്സ് എ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ബാക്ക് സ്ലൈഡിങ് ഐ ഐ വിൽ കോൾ ഇറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഡസൻ മീൻ ദാറ്റ് ദേ ഹവ് ജോയിൻ അനദർ ചർച്ച് ദേ ഹ് ഷോയിങ് ദ പ്രൊട്ടസ്റ്റ് ഐ പ്രൊട്ടസ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഐ വിൽ എക്സിറ്റ് യുവർ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ദെൻ next sunday not seen in the church slowly slowly then the children will not be seen in the sunday school then how many calls over calls nobody will attend what's happening backsliding has started sorry to say as a pastor i have to tell the truth they are angry because something is not going right in their family let's not do that let's not do that even when things are not going smooth stick to god and stick to god's family i have seen who when people stick to god and god's family god is faithful to keep them together i have seen many families okay they have gone through tough times in their lives okay they have gone through lot of ridicule actually maybe that was a divorce or maybe that was a police case or maybe that was a bad thing which they don't want even to say but the church family is to thick and thin with them saying we love you we understand what you are going through we will never look down on you we accept you we will stand with you that's the church family if god would do that to you how much more his body the church should be doing that to you so this first sunday i'll challenge you church you are god's family you're not a horse you're not a mule you are a free man your free will god even doesn't <laughs> enter and uh, you have your free will but 
if you decide if you choose to take his counsel and when you are even sleeping on your bed the lord will talk to you and when you see a distress somewhere and when you sit and cry and seek the lord the lord will drop his plans in your heart which will lead you into action and the nehemiah came and did a great work but the best thing is he finished the work in 52 days wow praise the lord 52 days he finished the work do you know how many weeks are there in a year 52 he finished in 52 days this is the start of a new year you make a decision lord everything that is broken in my life everything that is in ruin maybe your family maybe your children maybe your your spiritual disciplines are all broken make a decision lord i will build it i will rebuild it there was a wall there first but it was broken sometime now he has to repair it and build it so won't you take a decision lord i'm willing to rebuild my walls which was broken if you say that prayer sincerely to the lord the lord will help you to rebuild the walls the ruined walls of your life of your family sometimes even of your ministry sometimes while we are in ministry okay sometimes there will be some broken situation the ones who in who are in ministry will know that abi will know that those who are in ministry will know that sometimes you will go through tough times where you have been misunderstood where you will be blamed for something which you never even thought of sometimes the people who are close with you may just for no reason leave you this will happen in in ministry not even in ministry even in our lives also ellam parayan undayirunno time limit okay yeah we'll we'll talk about it i was talking to this brother when he came he's a very broken person his family left him every one deserted him he met with a very serious accident and it took 8 years for his blood clot something to settle down and he's normal now a broken person was brought to the church for the first time this is one example one brother is one example like this how many brothers are around us how many sisters are around us but are you the salt are you the light that's the challenge the lord is putting in our life we will talk to you brother we will pray with you also we love you okay we love you don't think that you are here by accident okay i always say everything is a divine appointment it was a divine appointment okay okay we are closing and we are going to pray what are we going to pray lord help me to rebuild the broken areas of my life the broken areas of my family the broken areas of my ministry even even lord as you have allowing us to live in the city which is broken suicides are happening almost every day murders and killings is just a normal thing sexual abuse and drug traffic is a very normal thing now the world is not a safe place they say but even our cities are not a safe place 
even our schools and colleges our universities are not a safe place our streets even our children cannot go safely and come back even you are you cannot drive your vehicles and be safe in the roads now even if you drive nicely you cannot expect others who are driving on the road so as we are here as a church this morning we are going to pray we are going to pray this morning we are going to pray this morning sunish i want you to come here pray a prayer this brother i know for many years living in this city god has put a burden and uh, that's why he took a car his car and took three other brothers and uh, went driving how many states you covered at that time 19 17 sit- uh, states he covered but he had to stop in between and fly and come back now he is planning to continue and the thing so when everything is in ruins what are we supposed to do become the salt and become the light if salt has lost its saltiness i don't know the bible doesn't say how to bring back the saltiness you cannot there's no process but one thing there's only one option be the salt and be careful not not to lose the saltiness can we pray for our community can we pray for our cities can we pray for our state can we pray for all the states in our nation can we pray in the first week itself okay can we pray can we pray a prayer of intercession can we pray a prayer of intercession hallelujah 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 i want if you're serious in your prayers okay why don't you stand up for a minute so that we can all pray and intercede together sunish will uh, intercede and pray Jesus Jesus oh lord we bless you we lift our hands to your holy name we are gathered together in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus by the blood of the lamb we come to your throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need lord even as we've been hearing from your word these are times of great distress and times of great need in our cities oh lord in this land the walls are broken down all over the walls of our homes are broken down the walls of our hearts are broken down in many ways oh god there has been so much of onslaught oh lord your church has been under attack the body of christ has been under severe attack by the forces of darkness we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and 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 forces of darkness and spiritual hosts of wickedness in the high places your word says oh god your church your people are under attack oh lord the church in this land is under attack oh lord not only in this land but all over the world the church is under attack the body of christ is under attack oh lord the enemy is is moving forward his plans in this world oh lord but today we want to come together even as we heard from your word oh lord we want to come together as one body as one family and we want to cry out to you oh god we want to cry out to you lord uh, we want to make a commitment and say lord we are here lord be humble ourselves under your mighty hands our, our father in heaven our god our master almighty one el shaddai we want to humble ourselves under your mighty hand and we want to surrender ourselves to you once again we want to commit ourselves to you once again and we want to make that commitment and say lord we want to rebuild the walls of god we want to rebuild the walls of our heart to you lord make it firm once again oh lord that that our hearts lord would be secured in you oh god that our homes oh lord would be secured in you oh god that our cities and our communities would be secured in you once again oh lord oh lord that you that you are the repairer of the breach oh lord that the breaches oh lord the broken down areas would be repaired would be built up once again oh lord we know there is one more move there is a coming move your coming is near oh lord your coming is near and before that there is a move of your spirit that is yet to be unveiled in this land in the in the lands of this world in the nations of this world oh god but how can we be ready for that how can we be ready lord unless we begin to build the walls once again oh god those broken down places oh god to bring it together once again 
and to join our hearts together oh god and therefore we humble ourselves under your mighty hands oh god and we cry out to you we pray for our city the city of trivandrum oh lord we pray for every home that is represented here oh lord from the city every region every part of the city that is represented here lord all our communities where we are coming from the areas the community the colonies the residential areas the pin codes that we are coming from lord we pray for those areas oh lord even as we oh lord are called to be the salt we would not lose our saltiness but But Lord, we would preserve those areas, O oh Lord, for You, O oh God, for the coming move of the Lord. That even as a revival would come, O oh Lord, that people, those pre-believers in the Vajanathil Kerala, the Bola Kerala, they. free believers that they would be called out of darkness into your marvelous light to god even those in our homes in our extended families who have yet not confessed your name they have been hearing they have been listening the seeds have been sown into their hearts to god those pre believers that they would be called out of darkness into your marvelous light just as you called us out of darkness into your marvelous light in your time o oh lord in the right time in the fullness of time and therefore we pray o oh lord enable us also to be the salt enable us to be the salt wherever we are placed to god in our workplaces oh lord in our homes in our residential areas oh lord in all these places that we are called to move back and forth lord wherever we travel we were in our work back and forth pogunna trains la pogunna buses la kartave evada chennalum to be the salt oh lord to pray to intercede oh lord lord your word says if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and 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 pray and seek my face if they turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and and i will heal their land and allah kartha vengara vajanathil parnirikkana it is a promise of god and we thank you o father because heaven and earth might pass but your word never passes o lord it will remain forever you are watching over your word to see that it will be fulfilled and we pray for a fulfillment of these words in our city here in trivandrum o god in our land lord the state of kerala o god in this nation of india o god we pray lord in every state in this country o lord o lord that you will build your church and the gates of hate shall not prevail against it oh hallelujah father we thank you lord the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty in god to the pulling down of strongholds and therefore every stronghold that the enemy has erected we pull it down in jesus name in the mighty and powerful name of jesus oh lord we pray kartave aa devadasan africa petti prarthichathu pole darshanam kandathu pole blood washed africa ennu parnathu pole njangal ennu njangal prarthikkunnu kartave oru manasode njangal prarthikkunnu kartave a blood washed india a blood washed india njangal prarthikkana kartave a blood washed kerala a blood washed trivandrum kartave suicides in the rates are thaade to yesu in the namathil we pray oh god wherever there is broken down brokenness in the hearts of people that are leading them into despondency and depression kartave let the light shine into their lives oh lord into their homes oh lord that would rescue them oh lord from the depression oh god and therefore find healing in the mighty and powerful name of jesus Oh Kartave that you would heal and bind up their souls oh God that you would heal and bind up their souls that they would be led back to you oh Lord and therefore find deliverance oh God that they would not need to take away their lives oh Lord but they would come and bow down before you in worship oh God Hallelujah stotram yesu we thank you oh Lord we intercede oh Lord we pray oh Lord Lord I pray for this community that is gathered here Kartave ellavarum Kartave orumichu Kartave nammal aaradhikkina ee samayath Kartave angada saanidhimoda pravartikkina enna njan nanni parayunna Kartave I thank you for your presence that is at work Lord I pray that there will be deep conviction of your spirit in each and every one of us oh Lord that we would know the truth and the truth would set us free even as we are stepping into another calendar year we begun another calendar year lord kartave 2022 2022 kartave truly o lord in the vajanathil ketta the pole that we would be preservers o lord wherever we are each and every one of us o lord that there would be a deep move of your spirit a deep work of your spirit deep inside of our hearts o lord in the in the inna njangal paattu vaadi kartave create in us a clean heart renew our right spirit o lord kartave a clean heart oh lord that we would go forward into 2022 with a clean heart clean hands pure heart oh lord to serve you to be available for you oh lord prarthike mathramalla kekuga mathramalla but we will be people of action as well oh lord people of action going out and rebuilding the, those broken walls oh god may your blessing be upon us oh lord may your blessing be upon this community oh god without you we can do nothing 
സങ്കീർത്തനം പതിനാറിൽ പറയുന്നത് പോലെ ദി ബൗണ്ടറി ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫോളൻ ഫോർ ഇൻ പ്ലസ് ആൻഡ് പ്ലേസസ് ആൻഡ് വി ബിലീവ് ഇറ്റ് വി റിസീവ് ഇറ്റ് വി ഡിക്ലെയർ ഇറ്റ് യുവർ ബൗണ്ടറി ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫോളൻ ഫോർ ഇൻ പ്ലസ് ആൻഡ് പ്ലേസസ് ആസ് എ ബോഡി യു ലോഡ് ആസ് ഫാമിലീസ് ആസ് എ ചർച്ച് ആസ് എ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഓഫ് യുവർ പീപ്പിൾ ഓ ലോഡ് കർത്താവ് വാട്ട് എവർ ഡിസിഷൻസ് ദ ഗവൺമെൻറ്റ്സ് മേക്ക് വാട്ട് എവർ ഡിസിഷൻസ് ഹാപ്പൻ വെറ് എവർ ഓ ഗോഡ് കർത്താവ് വി താങ്ക് യു ബിക്കോസ് യു ഹാവ് പ്ലേസ് ടു സിയർ ആൻഡ് ദി ബൗണ്ടറി ലൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ഫോളൻ ഫോർ ഇൻ പ്ലസ് ആൻഡ് പ്ലേസസ് ആൻഡ് ഈവൻ ഇൻ ദ നൈറ്റ് വാച്ചസ് യുവർ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്സ് ഓ ഗോഡ് we give you thanks and we give you praise lord may your name be glorified in us and through us and in the communities that we are in lord in jesus name